So we'll do another one. We have an exception here and we have to make sure we do the 3D versus 4S. It says draw the orbital energy diagram and uh, for chromium plus. Now my process for doing this is always to start with the chromium atom. And here's when you'll see why I think. And then we'll do the chromium plus ion. Now go to your periodic table. Look at chromium. Chromium has 24 electrons in the atom. We are allowed to use a noble gas core here. Argon 4s2, 3d4 is what we might think the answer would be. However, so um, chromium is an exception. That exception is that one of the electrons moves over so that we have 4s1, 3d5. And that creates a half filled three D sub level. Okay. And so if you're asked on an exam what is the electron configuration for the chromium atom, it is argon 4s1 3d5 that is the right answer and however you get there is fine with me my process is to follow the shape of the periodic table see that i could have a half filled sub level and make the change to my final answer now for the chromium ion we take away one electron for the highest value of n so take away the 4s1 electron because the electron with the highest value of n is always the highest energy electron and we are left with argon 3d5. Okay. And then we now have to make the orbital energy diagram from low to high energy. Let me get on screen here. Put argon at the bottom. Then we put 3D. Put the five electrons in. And then you're actually done. So I'll make a little note here. So since there are no electrons in 4s, you don't even have to show it. Note, since there are no electrons in 4s, don't show it. Okay. Let me see. Let me get it on screen there. So again, and uh, I've shown two of the exceptions for the tutorial videos for the homework. You are more likely not going to see exceptions when you do it, but I just wanted to cover how to deal with exceptions. And hopefully that's the more complicated case. And the... Uh, the ones that follow the shape of the periodic table will be simpler. Any questions about that?